Hello there. Uh, it's been a little while since I've had to do one of these disclaimers for a video, which has been kind of nice, but I'm afraid that this time for this episode, the video editing software, or video recording software rather, really sort of wet the bed on me. After about five minutes in, it starts just basically taking chunks out of the video uh, arbitrarily. Sometimes it avoided the important sections, which was kind of nice, but then it took some out of a cutscene, which I have no way of recovering because my autosaves go back to just after that cutscene. So, um, basically, I, after from 5 minutes to about 15 minutes into this episode is just me scrapping together whatever I could salvage from that mess. It's not the most fun to watch, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but after that, I'm going to have re-recorded footage, which should have no problems. Hopefully, I'll catch this sort of thing in the future before it becomes an issue. Uh, the cutscene in question, by the way, if you want to uh, see it uncorrupted... Um, I will put a link in the description of this video to somebody else's video where they actually have that cutscene happen and you can just watch it and it'll be great. And yeah, again, sorry about the uh, mishap and hopefully it uh, won't happen again. Breath. He plays video games! Okay, hello and welcome back. We are uh, making our way up the up Death Mountain. Oops, oops, I've got a, I've got a whooping, wooden weapon out. Maybe I should not. <laughs> Maybe I should not. There we go. Okay, that's better. Now, where am I going exactly? Okay, there's, there's a path, but the path is, of course, littered with enemies. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll make do. I feel like traveling the path is going to be the way to go, purely because I have the highest chance of running into friendlies. Although, I also have a pretty high chance, apparently, of running into hostiles. So I guess that's just how it works. That's right. Didn't see me coming, did ya? You, you're, how come their flesh bakes... Oh, whoa, 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 what is he doing? Okay, that's new. Good, good reflexes, buddy. Okay, what, what do I do about this? What do I do about this? Okay, that doesn't work, obviously. How about sledgehammer? Come on, sledgehammer, sledgehammer. It's not working. Okay, how about we leave you a bomb? Do you like bombs? I like bombs. Come on up. There you go. Great. <laughs> but they're burning. Why are they burning? They don't burn when they're alive. How come they burn when they're dead? Okay. Yep, there it went. Okay. Let's just work our way through here. Try not to touch anything that's on fire. Because I may be fireproof, but I'm not that fireproof. Oh, jeez. What a mess. What a... What? What? No, 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 no. No. No, I don't want to deal with an Igneo Talus. Okay, you know what? Fine, fine. Okay, okay. Uh, let us put you out. Let us put you out immediately. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, yes. Fire explosions. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. How does that suit you? Does that suit you okay? I hope not. Okay, okay, okay. Great. Okay, now... Sledgehammer, I guess? How does that work? How's that working for you? I feel like it's less likely to break my weapon than... Some of the other options I've got on me. Okay. Right. Not happy with me for that particular... Okay, and he's on fire again. But that's okay, because I still have this. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! what you get. You can be persistent, yes, but so can I. Oh, no, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm on fire. Okay, okay, okay. That's all right. That's all right. I still have uh, plenty, plenty of fireproof elixirs. Let's go ahead and drink the long-duration one. I do not want to mess around while I'm trying to fight a talus. There we go, there we go, there we go, yes. Yep, okay, I, I, I gotcha, I gotcha. Don't want me standing on your head, I understand it. And put you out. I can keep this up all day, man. No, obviously I can't. I can keep it up for about 15 more minutes. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just kill him. Let's just kill him. I feel like one more round of this should kill him. So let's make sure he doesn't get a chance to kick me off. There we go. Fantastic. Now you're dead. 
and I am alive. Ha! Ah, oh, boy. Spoils. That wasn't too bad at all. I feel like the Frost Talus gave me a way harder time than that guy did. Alright, well, good to know that that's what was down here. I see that the wall in front of me is entirely littered with fire areas. Am I supposed to climb it? Carefully? I think I am. Okay. Well, let me just get some uh, climbing gear back on. There we go. And very carefully climb the wall. Try not to climb on anything again that is burning because that seems like a really poor idea. Maybe I can't light on fire, but I can still feel pain. That's for dang sure. Uh, okay, what am I looking at? What's scuttling over there? Stop it. Okay, keep moving. I only have so much fireproofness. What? Birds? How are there birds that can survive in this crap? Are you kidding? Okay, I guess they're not kidding, but, uh... Okay, that's something. That's a thing. This place is making me un unreasonably nervous. Okay, we got we made it to marker number three, Southern Mine. Uh, it's a baby Goron. It's a baby Goron. It's another baby Goron. Going ga ha ha ha. Okay. Ooh. Axel. Hm. Hello. Hm? Huh? Ah! A Hylian. This is bad. Wh wh why is this bad? But because, just beyond Goron City, they're raining down from the sky. Tons of magma bombs. I'm, I, I am technically headed that way. That is true. What? You're going to go all the way up the mountain? No, you can't. It's not just magma bombs you have to worry about. My papa says that the mountain is burning hot. It's burning. It's boiling. It's on fire. Well, anyway, you get my point. I, I do, but I'm not convinced to stop. <laughs> anyway, off, off he goes. Hey, buddy. Wake up, would ya? Nice beard. <laughs> His name is Boren. <laughs> okay. Can I... Can I wake you up? Can I wake you up? Can I wake you up? Eh. No, that doesn't work. Okay, how about if I jump on ya? Can I jump on ya? Can I climb you? No, I can't. Okay, I'll leave him alone. Hey, other kid. Pellison. Hmm? Is there something on my face? Uh, not particularly. Me? I'm Pellison. Name ends in son. It's true, it does. <laughs> yep. Are you, are you strong? You... You bet I'm strong. <laughs> but my big bro Grayson is even stronger. Oh, okay. I suppose it would probably be better to not import a child. Whoa, whoa, hey. That's an outfit you got there. You got an oven on your head. What's going on? Are there any over here? I don't know. Ooh. Kima. Oh, hey, perfect. You showed up at just the right time. I'm on my way back from Goron City, but forgot to buy souvenirs. I wanted to capture some of those fireproof lizards that live here on Death Mountain, but those suckers sure are quick. Say, you look pretty speedy. I bet you could catch a ton. If you bring me ten, I'll even give you some heat-resistant armor. Heat-resistant? Well, I have heat-resistant armor. You mean fireproof armor? Because if you mean fireproof armor, I'm all over that crap. So what do you say, buddy? Help a pal out, at a jam, out of a jam by capturing me some fireproof lizards? Yeah, okay, I guess. Uh. Great. Thanks, buddy. Just ten fireproof lizards should be enough. You can probably find some right around here. Uh, that is definitely true. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, let's talk to these Gorons. They seem a little busy, but I'm sure they won't mind talking. Hello. Doral. <laughs> My happiness is the boss's happiness, and that means it's Goron City's happiness too. Dig, dig, and then dig some more, and sell all that sweet, sweet ore. <laughs> that has nothing to do with you. Okay, I guess. Um... It looks like it's pretty tough work, sure. Mm. The reason Goron City is so prosperous is because of the work we do here. Mm. I actually want to dig closer to the summit, but that lizard monster is in the way. Mm. You need something else? Okay, who, who are you? 
I'm Doral, head of the Goron Group Mining Company. We're digging this site out under direct orders from the boss of Goron City. No time to chat. Gotta dig. Hmm? <laughs> but apparently, um, you still are okay with chatting. Uh, what's Goron City? Yeah. Goron City is where us Gorons live. <laughs> he stops smiling. Are you... Are serious? It's called Goron City. It's like if we, if you named your like your hometown Hylian City. I mean, come on, it's Goron City. Oh. Just go straight down this road to get there. But as a Hylian, you better be careful not to get burned. Ooh. You need something else? Nah, we're good. That's right. Okay, great. Uh, hey, friend. Excuse me, Grayson. Hey, it's Grayson. Need something? What's your name? Name's Grayson. What's it to you? Your, your name ends in son. Ed. Well, what about it? It's time to work now. If you want to talk, come back at night when I'm relaxing. Okay. So apparently we can recruit that guy maybe at night. Got it. Hey there. Jingo. Bah! You scared me! What is it? Um, who are you? Me? I'm Jingo. I need to concentrate while I'm working. If you want to talk, come see me when it's night time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bother you. Oh, it's you again. It's not time for me to stop working yet, you know. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. What is this place? Take a look around. This is where we dig up ore. We call it the Southern Mine. I need to concentrate while I'm working. I already said this. Go away. Okay, yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, let's see here. How many fireproof lizards do I have? I have three. That is not nearly enough. Guess we'll just have to keep an eye out for them. I suppose I could gather some up here, probably. It seemed like there were a ton of them around. Let's see if there are any hiding in corners. I'm starting to stumble over my words. I should probably, uh... This may have to be my last episode of this particular set. I was gonna do five, but it's getting a little late and my, uh... Allergies seem to be kicking in pretty strongly, so... You may notice me sniffling a lot. Sorry about that. Fireproof lizard, thank you. Okay, okay. They probably wouldn't like it much if they knew I was taking their ore, would they? I should probably, uh, keep that on the DL. Whoops. Hey. Way too late to get that guy. Okay. Yeah, you know, let's just keep, let's keep moving towards Goron City and, uh... See if I can catch some more lizards on the way, because I feel like there's going to be plenty more. There's one there, for example. Just for example. There we go. Okay, we have an updraft. And some ostriches, or whatever it was they're called. Let me just double check. That's it, Elden Ostrich, yes indeed. Now what's up here? I wonder to myself. Hmm. Nothing in particular. Cool, so I guess I'm just supposed to bomb that? Looks like I'm supposed to bomb that. Let's bomb that, shall we? Let us bomb that. Okay. And hop, and bop. Oh, wait. The bomb got to carried away by the updraft. Uh, okay. Uh, it's gonna keep happening, isn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. That's not working. New plan. Keep walking. I don't know what that's there for, but maybe it's nothing. Or maybe it's something I'll find out later. Let's see. Keep an eye out for lizards. Keep an eye out for Gorons. There are big nasty moblins over there. What are they doing here? Wow, that's... That is a giant hostile camp directly next door to your mine. Are you guys cool with this? Seems like a bad thing probably clear that out at some point, but not right now. I'm on a time budget. Let's see. Sign? That sign looks like it's made of wood. How does that work out exactly? Oh no, it's metal. Death Mountain, marker for number four. This way to Goron City. Hooray! And there's a lizard. Get that lizard. Are you looking at me? Don't you look at me, lizard. Don't you look at me, lizard. There we go. Yep, okay. Cool. Oh, are you, are you attacking me? No, you're not. Okay, cool. I know I've crossed ostriches before and had a bad time at it, but uh, I'd forgotten about that when I drew my weapon. Hey, yeah, you, you keep on keep on trucking there, ostrich. 
Okay, hello, what? What? Hello, what? Okay, great. Um, no, thank you. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, okay, ouch. Great. Uh, so that was an eruption. <laughs> okay. But I have to go this way, right? It's gonna happen again, isn't it? It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Okay. Okay. No, that wasn't an eruption. Those were those those lava bombs. It was that they were talking about. Maybe that is an eruption that causes lava bombs. I don't know. I'm kidding. I have no idea. I don't. This is completely new territory to me. Okay. Okay. Not so many lizards up here. Okay. Okay. What? What? What's going on? Whoa! What's that thing? Was the divine beast that I saw when I was looking at the mountain a while back. Oh boy, look at him. He's like that one salamander colossus. Climbing on walls and everything. Being all freaky scary. I hope he doesn't have poison lasers. I would be in big trouble. Oh boy. He don't seem so happy, do he? Hmm. But just standing back there and shouting is much better than anything more active, so I guess I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, hey, again, really sorry about that giant mess you just had to watch. If I had any other way to deal with it, I would do that. But I can't, sorry. So yeah, this is Goron City here. Uh, first, when I saw that statue, I thought it was the calcified corpse of Biggerin, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a welcoming, friendly statue. So that's fine, right? Right. Great. Let's get on in there. Hello, Goron friend. Mm. Crane. Well, looky here. Welcome, Master Link. Well, okay. <laughs> How did you know? What do you mean? More importantly, I hope you made it past all those magma bombs without injury. To be honest, we haven't had too many visitors here since those magma bombs started falling from the sky. I'd be bored to tears if I didn't pass the time pretending to greet the long-lost Hylian champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently you just say that to all of the travelers, huh? Okay. Oh, in case you didn't know, Link is the little Hylian who fought alongside the Goron champion, Daruk. Uh, yeah, yeah, he sure is. If you want to hear more, talk to the boss. He lives further in town. Okay, sure. Thanks, Crane. I'll, I'll do that. Um, now, full disclosure, I have done this section once already now, so it's not going to be news to me, but, eh, you know, I'm doing what I can here with what I got. That's, that, that video corruption really did a number on me. But anyway, I need to get... Yeah, wait a second, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I say I've been here, but I don't have any idea what I'm doing still. That's cool. All right. Hey, pile. You're a traveler? In that case, I'll take you somewhere nice. Follow me. Yeah, okay. Lead the way, pile. Grand tour. We're on city. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, pile. Good job. Mm. This is it. The armor shop. Recently, something called the Divine Beast Varudania showed up on Death Mountain. Since then, it's gotten a lot hotter here. That's why we're selling fireproof armor. And that's why I'm here at this shop. Fantastic. Let's get on in there. Hey, buddy. Oh. Rogaro. Out late, I see. Lucky for you, Ripped and Shredded is open for business 24 hours a day. All right, tell me about your shop there, Rogaro. As you can see, this here is my armor shop. Funny thing is, Gorons normally don't wear anything at all. Well, I mean, you got, like, little fundoshi loincloth bits. We started selling flame-resistant armor for the tourists. I recommend the flame breaker boots over all else. They're made using gems mined from this very soil. As you'd expect, they have great flame resistance. Give them a try. They're the envy of famous warriors the world over. Do you need anything else? Uh, yeah, I want your armor. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Of course you do. If you gear up here, you'll be set to stay cool at places even hotter than Goron City. With what you're wearing right now, you should really give up on going anywhere hotter than Goron City. Places that hot are forbidden to anyone who isn't a Goron anyhow. 
forbidden to anyone who isn't a Goron. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to get past that particular thing. Anyway, let's go buy his stuff. Stop by again. Well, you know I will. Okay, first up, boots. Now, you may note I can't actually uh, afford the full set because this helmet is very expensive. But uh, I'll try and sell some stuff and deal with that off camera in between episodes. Anyway, flame breaker boots. Oh. How does 700 rupees sound? It sounds like about a third of what I've got total, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I need them. Ah. Thank you, brother. Okay, cool. And I'll grab the uh, grab the armor, too. That house sure took it out of my finances, I tell you what. Anyway, let me just slap that on so I don't suddenly light on fire in just a second here. There we go. That looks insulated. Good times. Hey, Pyle, you got anything different to say now that I've purchased your wares? Mm. You still need something? Uh, yeah, actually. Tell me about Death Mountain. Mm. That's what we call that volcano over there. Until recently, I had a job as a miner on Death Mountain. But ever since Divine Beast Varudanya showed up, we haven't been able to work the sites on Death Mountain. The company had to cut its workforce as a result, and I was let go. What do you do, eh? I miss the good old days. Anything else you want to ask? Yeah, tell me about Rudania. What can you mm. tell me? That's the name of the giant... Yeah, gigantic lizard monster that recently showed up on Death Mountain. With that monster there, we can't get anywhere near Death Mountain. Every day, the boss uses our cannon to blast that thing back to the mouth of the crater. But it just comes right back, and so the cycle continues. Anything else you want to ask? Dad, tell me about the boss. It seems like a guy I want to talk to, right? Boss is, uh, the boss. He's also the leader of Goron City. He's a big deal. So big, in fact, that he lives in a house with a humongous sign on top of it. You should go and introduce yourself. Maybe I will do that. All right, thanks, Pyle. Good name, by the way. Good name. Um, okay, there's a guy rolling over here. Hey, Rolly, what's what's your deal? Rarg! Oh. Hey, fella, buy something. Oh, uh, okay, well, what do you got? Uh, Highly and like you needs this, right? It's a fireproof elixir. <laughs> you know, I'm actually good. I, I'm wearing fireproof armor. Dad. Well, don't come crying to me when you're on fire, fella. Okay, okay, sorry, off rook. <laughs> right, I forgot that's all he sold. Well, no biggie. Let's uh, go talk to this old... Uh, old gentleman here. Stay at my inn, friend. Okay, okay. Yeah. Vulcan. A traveler. Perfect. Hey, why don't you stay here and rest your weary head? Um, well, tell me about it. Ah. This is the distinguished Goron establishment. Rolling in. Yeah, very nice. Good pun. See that? What a lovely view of Death Mountain. I mean, sort of. There's a sign in the way, but... Uh, that's what I'd like to say anyway, but... Boss's house is kind of in the way. But to make up for that, I can offer you a mostly pain-free massage session. You'll feel as loose as gravel afterwards. I feel like I'll feel like actual gravel. Like you may be overestimating my constitution. Anyway, yep, I think you should definitely stay here, friend. Okay, I, I guess I can do that. Sure. I'm a little injured. Well, hey, hey, hey there. You look much like the guy outside, don't you, Trey? You must be so tired, buddy, running around at this hour. Regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. If you want to throw in a Goron massage, that'll run you 80 rupees. Well, tell me about the massage. I know I knew it was a thing, but... New to the art of Goron massage, I take it. Uh, that's okay. First time for everything, as they say. A Goron-style massage is done on top of a hard rock bed. Pressure is applied to your body to squeeze the tension out. You're basically going to sit on me, is what you're saying. You're going to put me in a rock and sit on me. Um, I don't know, man. But I'll tell you, it doesn't hurt one bit. Mostly. No, honestly, I doze off sometimes. Yeah, but you're made of rocks, dude. Well, not exactly, but close enough, right? When it's all over, you'll sleep like a rock and feel great when you wake up. You'll be all limber and full of energy. Regular bed, yeah, yeah, da ba da ba da okay. You know what? Sure. Sure. Hit me with the massage. A room and a massage. Got it. How long you want to rest for? Um, till morning, I guess. I know I gotta talk to those miners at night, but I, I, I got time. 
go ahead and lay down on the rock bed. Time to loosen up those tiny muscles. Okay, okay, buddy. Hey, Vulcan! We got a customer! Okay. All right, that's right, he's the massage guy. Got you covered, buddy. I forgot your voice already. Sorry, Vulcan. All right. Ow. Right. Oh, boy. That sounded like a good time. <laughs> Particularly the anguished scream at the end of it. Good times. Well, seems to have done some nice stuff, though. Good morning. How was the massage? Amazing, right? Take care, brother. All right. Cool. Thanks, Trey. Thank you. Um, all right. So I guess that takes care of getting rested up. What else we got around here? Let's see. What's this? What's this? All right. This is the item shop. We have it all here, or so he claims. You. Tanko. Morning. The Goron Gusto shop always opens early. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, talk to me. What's oh. this place? Our motto is, from the kitchen to the battlefield. We got the right tool for you to wield. Okay, nice motto. Uh, what do you got? Rock salt. I guess that would be here in abundance. Fire arrows. Ice arrows. It didn't occur to me the first time around, but they don't sell normal arrows because they just, uh, incinerate instantly in this atmosphere. <laughs> Goron spice, though. Wow. That's something I've never seen before. So I think I'll stock up on this. Yeah. I don't know what it's good for, but I'm sure it's good for something. And cane sugar. Keep seeing recipes that want cane sugar and not finding any cane sugar, so grab those too. Cool. I don't know if that's important or not, but uh, we did it, so we're good. Um, all right, what's over here? Hello? Oh, right. Angerman. <laughs> Doing anger squats. Where did he go? I don't know. What are you talking about? Blade on. My reckless brother hasn't come back yet. What in the world is he thinking? All right, tell me about your brother. <gasps> My little brother, Gongoron. I'm really proud of him, but he said he was going to go dig up the secret of the hero, and then he just took off. I really don't know what in the world got into him. Um, tell me, where did he go? <sighs> I'm certain my br little brother went off to Gorko Tunnel, southwest of Gorko Lake. The bedrock in that tunnel is incredibly hard, so us Gorons gave up trying to dig it out ages ago. <laughs> Instead of chasing dreams, I'd prefer to see him face reality and help us out with our important Goron work. But, you know, little brothers, they're, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. <laughs> Tell me about that hero thingy, though. I wonder when my little brother will come home. You can't really be searching for the secret of the hero in the depths of Gorgo Tunnel, right? Yeah, that. Secret of the hero. Talk to me about that. <sighs> the secret of the hero is a fairy tale of sorts, passed down from Goron to Goron for ages. As for me, I heard about it from my dad's cousin's neighbor's uncle. That's remarkably specific that you know exactly. Okay, whatever. <laughs> But I know better. It's just an excuse for him to slack off and dream his life away. I wish he'd really wish he'd grow up a little. Yeah, I guess that's reasonable. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for your little brother. <laughs> After running circles around you, let's see here. Who do I still need to talk to? Um, oh right. Hey, man. Protein Palace! Ooh. Aji, which incidentally means flavor in Japanese. A little trivia for you. Welcome to Protein Palace, the hot spot for On the Rocks grilling. Good morning, bud. You need something? Uh, tell me about your grill shop, why don't you? Uh, uh. We'll take a look around. This is a grilling joint. Normally, Gorons only eat rocks. Mmm, the good stuff. Still, we sell this kind of thing for the tourists. They love it. Come on, eat up and get yourself a meaty muscle body like us Gorons. All right, sure, I'll take your grilled meat. Ooh. Whoa, really? I <laughs> haven't had a customer in ages. I'll tell you something interesting. Goron City's so hot, if you put anything on the ground, it'll cook up in no time. And once people figured that out, we lost all our customers. All of them. So why did you tell me that? So, yeah, if you see something you want, just grab it hot off the grill. All right, well, let's see what you have for sale. Come back any old time. Yeah, well, no, no worries, I'll do that. Let's see here. Uh, toasted shroom, a seared steak, a roasted, you know, that's actually, none of that is particularly interesting now that I've rested up. I'm sorry about that, Aji. Uh, did not mean to mislead you, but apparently I have misled you. Um, let me see here. 
what, which ways have I not gone? I, well, there, there goes my flame, uh, fireproofness. So good thing I've got that potion going, eh? Who's this? He's got a quest. <laughs> Fugo. This is the house of the distinguished Goron artisan, Master Rohan. You need something? Yeah, tell me about Rohan, why don't you? Master Rohan is a godly blacksmith. He's responsible for keeping the ancient arts alive. Hmm. He's really strict with everyone, me included. In my case, he told me to beat every Igneo Talus around Goron City as part of my training. But I can't get to the Igneo Talus at Darunia Lake. <sighs> If only someone would go in my place. Doesn't that defeat the purpose of your training? Having someone else kill it for you? I mean, what possible good does that do you? I guess you can just claim you did it. But if you can't get there, how is he going to confirm you did it anyway? I don't know. So let's go check out this uh, blacksmithman. Oh, right. If you sleep until the morning, it gets you up at like 6 a.m. And this guy's not awake. So I guess we'll come back to him, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Let's go this way. Okay. Oh, yeah, the boss. Let's talk to the boss. I haven't talked to the boss yet. That seems important. Look at that little tiny mustache. But your beard makes up for it, that's for sure. Hmm. Pluto. Brat, that blasted Rudania. What's wrong? With Rudania running wild recently, Death Mountain's eruptions have gotten real bad. Do you see Rudania stomping out, stomping around up there on the mountain? They say that a hundred years ago it actually used to protect our people from harm, but that was then, and this is now. Now all it does is mess up our mining operations. We're all suffering because it's stopping us from doing business. I can't tell you how many times we've used the cannon to chase off that fiend. But it always comes back. Yeah. Oh. Yo. Oh, ow, 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 ow. All right. Take it easy there, buddy. Uh, it's just a back pain. Wait, who are you? I'm a traveler, that's for sure. I see. So then you came all this way to pay your respects to me. I like you already, brother. Well, my name's Bluto. I'm the great Goron boss who's fearsome enough to silence a crying child. Or to make a silenced child cry, either way. Yes, it's none other than I, Bluto, the villain from Popeye. I was planning to drive off Rudania like I always do, but then this blasted pain in my back flared up out of nowhere. Mm. That blasted Yonobo, when will he return? Uh, who's this Yonobo you're talking about now? Yonobo is a young Goron who helps me drive off Rudania. He went to grab some painkillers for my back from the abandoned North Mine, but he hasn't come back yet. Why do you keep your painkillers in an abandoned mine? I guess you gotta have a storage closet somewhere, huh? Slacker. I bet he's off somewhere wasting time. Hey, if you happen to see Yonobo, will you let him know I'm looking for him? I will do that. Oh! Oh! Ouch. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and step it up, man. You seem like you're in a bad way. Okay, well, let me just check your house out real quick. Oh, not a great deal to see in here. Bed, throne, all the basics. Okay, cool. Nice digs. I forgot to check if digs actually means house. I don't know. It probably does. Is blacksmith awake yet? Yo, blacksmith. Are you awake yet? Looks like that's a no. <laughs> Dang it. But he might wake up at 8. He might wake up at 8. 8 a.m. Yes? No? No? Well, his kid's up. Hey, kid. Hey. Hey. Slurgo. What's with you? I'm a traveler. Huh. Well, this has been enlightening. Glad I waited till you wake woke up. Um, but blacksmith seems pretty set on this. Okay, well that's fine. Okay, we'll tell you what. Um, oh shoot, I guess I've gone over. I'm used to doing half-hour episodes, and this time I had to do a half one because of the stinking video corruption. Well, next time... We'll talk to the blacksmith. We'll start trying to clean up some of these side quests. Um, look for Yonobo is probably the primary one to take care of, isn't it? Oh, and I'll also sell off some monster parts and uh, see if I can't afford that helmet afterwards. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Again, really sorry about how miserable this one was to watch, probably. <laughs> but I'll do better, promise. Uh, 
I'll keep a closer eye on my video recorder. That's about all I can do. Um, but anyway, yeah, I guess I will see you next time. Bye.